Hey guys, well we're back up at the lot and uh, I thought I would shoot a little video of the Spartan since there's some people who are been interested in it. So um, here it is. Um, this is a 1948 Spartan, uh, 25 foot. Uh, it's, it's called a Manor. Uh, they made a tandem axle and they made a single axle Manor. Um, this, of course, is a single axle. As you can see right now, I have the tires off. And uh, the studs were giving me some issues, so I pulled the hubs. And I um, put new new studs in. And But to get it home, I had to pull the brakes off it. Um, they were pretty well shot. So, um, But that's what we have. There's a little bit of corrosion. Not bad, though. Um, I've seen a lot worse. Um, this trailer is uh, designed by G.W. Schultz uh, for uh, J.P. Getty, uh, Getty Gasoline, if you guys are familiar with that. And um, he, uh, Spartan was in the aircraft business, and uh, they... Uh, Getty bought out uh, Skelly. Um, he was the originator of the Spartan name. And then he uh, uh, built aircraft and, uh, you know, and did very well being Getty. Um, and then um, when the uh, aircraft business kind of slowed up um, after the war, um, he got into the trailer business. So that's where this thing comes from. Notice there is a little bit of a doink up here in the roof. Not real terrible. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm holding the camera up there, but it definitely, uh, could use a, a little pop from the inside. I think you could get most of it out. Um, but that's the worst down on the whole trailer. I mean, there are little, little love marks here. Here's a little, little wave. Um, I'm in a bush right now, so it's kind of tight where I parked it in here. So, I said I got the wheel off on this side. I've already fixed the studs on those ones. As you can see, the two new studs. Um, the skin is in really good shape. I mean, this will polish right up to a mirror finish. Um, with uh, it takes a little bit of work, but there's uh, some some dimpling going on up here. Um, but as you will see in a minute. It is pretty rough on the inside. There are no windows in the front. These windows were plexiglass, and um, which was kind of cutting edge for the time. Notice uh, this is kind of milky colored. You can see my hand. It's dirt and it's uh, just yellowed plexiglass. Uh, okay, inside the trailer. This is not a bad way to get a good view of it. Um, as you can see, there's a... Uh, Pretty substantial water damage under that window. And uh, this uh, little uh, cabinet here is still in really nice shape. Uh, the ceiling, of course, is uh, going to need to be replaced. And that uh, little broom closet over there where the stove would have been, um, that you can kind of see up there above that lamp to your left, there's a little pipe stick in there. That is where the furnace would have been. Uh, that sconce, I believe, to be original because it looks like it hasn't been moved. And there's a matching sconce over there. Now, that light over there, not original, uh, as you can tell, because there's a cord stretched across the window. Um, the little drop leaf table, I'm not sure if it's original or not. Um, but it's... Uh, it would be something period that would be in this trailer would be a little drop leaf table like that. So um, it would be nice to redo it. Now the ratty couch with the varmints living in it. I was going to burn the couch and get rid of the couch. But um, I decided to um, keep it for now. That could change my mind. 
but um i mean if you look at it it's it's made out of springs it's uh it's made out of wood it's uh it can all be um probably redone and uh and this does pull out into a sofa is it the original couch to the spartan uh the original um which this is in the position that it would be it looks pretty close to the right size um i don't know if it's the original to the trailer but it'd be really cool if it was because i've never seen an original spartan couch but this could be one so let's take a little walk inside see the fancy door handle here they do make these door handles reproduction and they're relatively cheap um i have a 46 spartan that someday i'll shoot a video of maybe this spring when i get it out and you will see that uh this one, uh, mine, my 46 has a different handle and you can't get reproductions. So they do make reproductions for this and they're not super expensive. Oh, screen door, pretty ratty. Um, but it's there for a pattern. Uh, I had to rebuild mine in my 46. No big deal. Um, floor. Okay. As you can see, you got linoleum over here. Over here, we've got basically, um, I mean, it's my foot's on it, and it's taking a little weight, but it, it's probably going to need to be cut out and uh, replaced at least, uh, you know, a couple foot section in there, probably two by three at least, um, to make it more sturdy. Okay, we're in. So, now you can really get to see where the damage is now a lot of people would take and rip this stuff all out and get it out of here but uh whoever takes this project on uh will need patterns you will need uh to figure out uh how this all goes back together and if you buy a gutted trailer you have no patterns so you will have no clue how to put it back together um there's very uh limited information on the back corners which i'll show you in a second so you're gonna have to figure those out for yourself and to be honest with you i when i bought my trailer i uh, had the originals and i found a second set of patterns now the edges were chewed off you know i mean the they looked like this you know they were kind of maybe not quite that ratty but they were ratty but at least they gave me an idea of what i needed to cut and um because you don't want to be cutting on that birch uh because it's not cheap stuff uh you're gonna pay anywhere between 20 to depending on where you are in the country you may pay 30 dollars a sheet um there we go broom closet you see uh, it's a mouse poop squirrel poop chewed their way through the back of it the closet would need to come out um it's interesting that they never put a uh, piece of birch behind it kind of chimped out didn't they there but anyway that's okay because it's all going to need to be pulled out anyway and replaced um all the dishes which i don't know what to do with maybe they're worth millions of dollars i doubt it but um they're there here's some more dishes and more squirrel poop that's a squirrel poop that one isn't working I gotta figure out how to open these things here we go there we go more mouse stuff and breakers a couple hangers this cabinet is actually in pretty good shape you know you clean all that crap out of there it's not bad um, more crap so um that one's kind of delaminating a little bit as you can see but the rest of them are pretty good now kitchen galley you'll see a couple different sets of this now this one's kind of odd because the sink is on this side okay it'll be on your uh curb side of the trailer it's a double sink there's another one over there um refrigerator gm frigidaire made by general motors so check this baby out that sucker is clean i mean a little bit of grunge in the bottom of it this thing will work i bet it, you plug this thing in she'll take right off 
Um, got some shelf lining in there. This cabinets, these cabinets aren't too bad. This had a fluorescent light in it. So that will need to, well, it still does have a fluorescent tube in there. Uh, and there's a plastic thing right here. See? That goes in there. So I have that. You know, even if you don't want to use it, you can use it as a pattern. Um, in here, you can see all the mouse poop and squirrel poop you want. Now, the stove. Here is the stove. The stove is probably shot. I would go on that assumption. Because, as you can see, there is a gaping hole. Ooh, I got in there. See? That is the outside, folks. That's not good. But, what it has done over the years is it has rotted down through here, down through this hood, which is cool to have the hood, and has now fallen down on this uh, aluminum, which was good, but it still got down underneath and it rotted out the frame underneath the stove. So I would replace that stove with something probably a little more efficient and keep this little cover, because that's pretty cool. Got a couple little grills here. All this stuff, get these screws out, or little nails. Oh, it looks like they're little screws. That'd be even nicer. Pull them right out. The little red and white tile. Yeah, somebody shot the windows. That's always fun. But it's flat glass. No big whoop. Um, you're going to have to replace the seals anyway, because you know they're going to leak. I had to replace mine in the 46. Um, and I'd be glad to show you guys where I got those. Okay, now we're back here in the bedroom. This was a bed frame, I believe. Now, is it original? I have no idea. It was laid down back here. Uh, actually, it was tipped over uh, box-wise and it was filled full of books because they use this for storage. Um, but as you can see, these corner pieces right here, like this piece, okay? To match that, to find that corner, it would be damn near impossible. Um, these, these pieces, this, this piece right here, you know, that piece over there, I mean, they're all impossible to, uh, replicate without a pattern. Um, this little closet, that's a mirror. That's me in the mirror. You can't see me, but anyway, I'm there. This is a closet, but somebody shoved the toilet in there. See, pretty nice. Yeah, I know she's a, she needs a little cleaning. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm a big man, you know, I go 250 pounds, um, and I'm not parking my carcass in there, I don't think. Maybe if I really squeeze my legs together, I could get it, my butt cheeks through this little opening, but um, here, I'll scare you guys. Let me see if I got a tape measure in my pocket. I do. Let's see what this opening really is. Okay, right there. 14, 14 and a half inches, maybe 15, 14, 15, 14 and a half, 15 inches wide. Trust me, my butt is wider than that. So here's the back side of the cabinet. We look through from the other way. Here's the back side of another cabinet. Don't ask me what you'd stick in there. Um, this thing is kind of cool. This is like a little makeup table. All original Spartan stuff, guys. This is cool. This is really cool. It's got like a mirror in it. So this would be like a little place for the ladies to get all decked out. Um, these trailers never did have a toilet in it. So to have that in there is not right. Um, if this was, if I was doing this trailer, that would not be there. Um, this was your toilet, basically. No, you didn't pee in it. But um, this little sink right here, which is in nice shape. Um, I think there's a piece of molding that goes across the top of this. I'm not sure. I think so. Um, this is where, you know, you would shave. Here's the mirror. And you get yourself cleaned up and uh, give yourself a little wipe down and call it good. Showers were a little uh, overrated back then. Here's another thing neat about this 48. The 48 trailer has uh, roll-up windows. So you crank this thing here with a with a crank like you would in a car, and this window will go down. I believe, yeah, you see, here's the crank. So you crank that, and I think I played with one of these before. I don't want to break it. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't want to break it. But anyway, 
that window will drop down like it would in a car. My 46 does not do that. These sconces look to be original because they both match. Um, doesn't mean they are original, but they're period, definitely. So, um, well, this video is getting on a little bit of length, so uh, I think I'll shorten it up a little bit and uh, uh, let you guys go. But it definitely is a project. I mean, the floors are solid back here. The frame is good. Um, this up here would need some work. The floor is kind of crappy behind that couch. But it's um, it's all here. It's all the pieces. So you could put it together. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Maybe I'll get somebody to do this as a project. I changed the... Um, jack and the uh, hitch on it it's got a two inch ball so um and it pulls okay uh with no brakes behind my f-250 yanked it up here pretty good so um that's all the way around it uh we'll talk to you guys later